Last year's update uh, was quite uh, uh, challenging in terms of collecting the data. It was the second year, so we made Im some improvements in uh, gathering more and more data from the various countries and various colleagues in delegations. It showed uh, numbers of progress, uh, and what I basically would say is that uh, it shows what we already knew, but it's important to underline it again and again, is that uh, mainstreaming in terms of gender is one of the, or is the main challenge uh, to address in uh, cooperation development. Uh, it's not a women issue, it's a, a matter of equality, it's a matter of rights. So uh, talking about gender means talking about issues like r rights, access, equal access to, to the various rights, equal opportunities, equal uh, possibilities for any person being more being born either male or female without discrimination. This is the basic concept and the basic issue which is behind. So it sounds obvious when we say it like here, uh, comfortably uh, sitting in Brussels. When you're talking about project, when implementing project, it not necessarily comes to the mind of everybody. Uh, most of the people know about the issue, but they don't transform or trans transpose uh, gender issues or gender action into their projects, meaning uh, it's lost and it's, uh, forgotten, it's forgotten about when we, uh, when we actually look at the project. Gender dimension can be, uh, should be included uh, in all the policies we, we have, whatever the thematic. As an example, if we have a water pump project which is uh, put together and implemented in a country, when the water uh, access is guaranteed to all the people, including women, uh, if the pump is physically located within the village, it diminishes the risk of rapes for women. Instead of having the situation where the uh, installation is outside the village, where the, there is a, a slight increase in the risk uh, of uh, being assaulted uh, for the women. So there is a gender dimension in that specific, very little tiny example of uh, how gender should be included in our, and thought of in all our, our projects. Now there are various examples in all kinds of thematic where this should be done. Obviously this is not exactly uh, what the situation looks like, although there are progress which have been made at, in, in, in various countries like in Benin where you have uh, disaggregated indicators or in Burkina Faso where guidelines have been uh, gender uh, thematized or th gender uh, proved uh, in, a, in our projects. But there's still a lot to do because we're quite lagging behind in terms of mainstreaming compared to all the donors in the world. What we definitely want to do is to, uh, as I said, train the people uh, make them sensitive and, and, and reactive to the issue so that it naturally comes to their mind when they are designing their things, including objectives, including indicators in their projects which are related to women so that we can see the real impact. And by asking to put specific indicators in the projects, people will, will raise the question, will discuss it, will start asking a question and say, why do we do this and why don't we do it differently where this dimension, the gender dimension would be included.